Alright guys, back for another Dokkan Battle video. Let's go and hop into another video on Gohan and Piccolo. This is a character that just came out on Global. Um, seems like pretty much nobody cares about this unit. Uh, I mean, they have some W's, I think, as part of their kit. Um, but they also have got some big time L's as well. Um, I don't... I don't know. I, I don't really look at them as some crazy impressive unit or anything like that, but... Um, I mean, certainly we could probably get some value out of them. Uh, for a, a run like this, damn, I you know, I really would put them... Uh, I, I would put them in slot three to go ahead and let's take advantage of their three-turn support. Multiple turn support, which is really kind of like the only W they have in their base form. Um, but with us having a double beast rotation, I don't know that I really want to do that. Uh, now, Gohan and Piccolo, I uh, the thing that really, I think, is very unfortunate with this character um, is the fact that, like, they kind of drop in a place for global where you could just look at JP and see, like, the new, like, Evolution Blue Vegeta and then um, the UI Goku, and it's just, why would you want to, like, run Gohan and Piccolo? Um, I don't really see... Uh, the biggest amount of value that they're going to bring to the team. Um, sure, they give the unit super attack to Beast. I I don't think that the, the, the unit super is really the most necessary thing ever for Beast Gohan. It gives them a little bit extra, but it's not like... Se like, 17 and 18 are, you know, like, part pretty much carried by their unit super attack with Goku. With Beast, it's just like, okay, like... A little bit of extra chance to crit and a, an attack break. Sometimes the attack break could have value. Sometimes it's not really going to do too much. If anything, the attack break very easily could hurt. Um, hmm. You know, we really do want to save the revive for Gohan and Piccolo anyway. Uh, and not really worry so much about Vegeta getting it. So I think I'll do that. So we'll do this. Uh, let's go ahead and float the gammas off, um, and then just go ahead and keep pressing forward, see how things go. I think on this next turn, we'll float Gohan and Piccolo. Only thing about floating Gohan and Piccolo, though, is that, I mean, there is the potential that they could get locked in slot one. And obviously, they're like a fish of a unit against any major boss. Um, their revive condition is not super bad, but, like, are we going to be below the 70% HP number that we need to? Right? It's like, that's the only thing about some of those revives like that. I mean, that's why usually I feel like I prefer Evolution Blue Vegeta's revive, which is just something like then like UI Goku or Gohan and Piccolo's, right? Which are HP conditions. It does... I mean, I, I want to say it feels like you have more control. Maybe it could be more consistent to get Vegeta's revive. Because um, all you have to do is get hit five times. I mean, we did have a good opportunity right here, but... The thing about Gohan and Piccolo, I mean, what we still brought, like, some of our best characters with Vegeta and UI Goku. But, I mean, obviously the thing is, is that we really do want to save the revive for Gohan and Piccolo. Because uh, in their base form, the only thing they're going to provide of value is if we float them. And they give us multiple turns support. I think I will float them right here. So, again, keep in mind to, to understand this, like... We're going to float them, and they are going to be buffing the next couple of rotations massively by a huge amount, right? Yeah, we'll hit that. That's fine. Uh, this doesn't really matter because uh, Gohan is going to just go ahead and hit hit them. And, well, actually, did I do that a little too... I probably shouldn't have floated them. We're probably just going to die. I like I, I kind of like just like went into autopilot mode and disrespected this Gohan. I mean, we've seen SDR Kid Buu killed in slot 3 relentlessly by this freaking Gohan, man. Um, the thing is, as you guys know, I don't like to use Beast's active, Gogeta Blue's active, Orange Piccolo on the rotation with the Showcase character. Oh, God, dude. There's no way. Bro, I, I, like, if I put them in slot 1 one time and they get sniped... Uh, like, guys, that's... Like, I do want to save these attempts for the no-item run attempts. I, I would like to get maybe, like, one video out of this, and then, you know, but we'll see. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we must have attack breaked it. Gotta be the case, right? Do we have the standby? We do. Um. Yeah, I mean, we, we could just float Piccolo. He shows up in slot one. Not really gonna hurt us, because we could just go orange. Wait! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ichigo, Aizo, Hikitsukete. Jika, O, Kasei, Dekure. Nigo. Omae, Masaka. Alright, now remember the Gammas do support Gohan and Piccolo, because um, Gohan and Piccolo are, of course, uh, joint forces. Combination, as it is on GP. Alright, let's hit that. Hit the in orbs for them. Uh, I'll just, we'll just go out. I guess let's just get, like, I have an opportunity to just bully this Gohan. I'll take, oh, I guess maybe he probably didn't super at all last turn, huh? Oh, dude. One, if he supers one attack earlier, he one shots Gohan and Piccolo potentially. Oh my god. I would have just thrown myself into the floor if it's like, all right, let's, you know, take advantage of Gohan and Piccolo. The only reason we'd want to bring them the three-turn support, right? Like, remember, Gohan and Piccolo are juicing the damage of all the characters in rotation right here. Only reason we want to bring them. And then they get immediately insta-killed. It's like, well, good. Terrific. Um, so we'll have Orange Piccolo going onto the rotation that Go uh, Gohan and Piccolo are not on. So that'll be good. Remember with Orange Piccolo too. We can get around whatever Beast does with the lock as well. Like, the lock does not matter when Orange Piccolo is around. I mean, he's still... Again, I don't... Orange Piccolo maybe is a character that I'm not really interested in debating too much. I mean, you either get it or you don't. I mean, it's, you know, it's up to you. If you choose to understand why Piccolo is so good, you can. If you don't want to, you know what? Not a big deal. Whatever. We're moving on. Uh, but we will <laughs> be taking advantage of his greatness. Like always. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, we will. Yeah. All right, Goatmans, get him out of here. Um, Now, one thing maybe is like, you know, it's like, oh, well, okay, Gohan and Piccolo, like, they're being carried by all the best units in the game and stuff like that. And it's like, yeah, well, I mean, you know, tough. What are we, what are we doing here? Okay. Um, Let's, uh, let's throw the final explosion with Vegeta. For sure. I think that might have been Vegeta's first attack, right? Uh, we should be pretty good right here. Do we want to just throw beasts active to be safe? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll just be super safe. No reason to take any risks, have any nonsense happen. Uh, well... We're at 80% HP. No, no, never mind. Let's... Because we... Yeah, hold on. Let's... Let's hopefully take some damage. Maybe UI wants to just get hit one time for us. That'd be pretty good. Beast might take damage. Actually, this might knock us below 70%, right? If I were to use the active here to take in double digits. Uh, that's not enough. Damn. UI Goku always follows my instructions. UI, let's get like maybe like two dodges in and then you get hit by one normal. I think sounds good. Man, UI just doesn't get hit though. UI, come on, baby. UI, we're trusting in you. UI Goku, UI Goku, save us. UI Goku. Two dodges and then get hit. Would that make his defense too high? Maybe one dodge. Maybe you know what? Just take the first hit. And then go on and pick a little revive, and we're we're looking good. Vegeta's not taking damage. Remember, UI doesn't get defense on Super. Okay. Yep, he can do all this. Just get hit one time. Because we know what Beast is going to do next turn. He's going to super right away. Okay. Love seeing that. Get hit one time, buddy. You could get hit one time. He's too good, man. I'm sorry, guys. He's just too good. 
Well. Yeah, I mean. It's like, ah, we'll give it a try. We'll run in the slot three. <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. Now I could. He was going. Huh? I, we, we could do it, but you guys know the rule. I mean, they do have damage reduction activated. I mean, what if Gohan doesn't super right away? Then they attack. I mean, they would live it, for sure. If he just opens with it... Oh my god, we have 191k defense. That's not exactly uh, goat mode, let's just say that. 191k, oh boy. We had to drop that or else, you know, we go back to base. Uh, what's going to be better for us? It's going to be the Beastie Boy with just Infighter and Fierce Battle. All right, let's go. Can I get some guesses in chat how this is going to... This could... This could play out with Gohan and Piccolo. Like, okay, like, Gohan and Piccolo, not bad. They got type advantage, but they did their job. Or we could just, you know, see a game over screen. Oh, that's good. That is good. Go on a Piccolo tanking a Beast Gohan Super? I'll take that. I will. I'll take it. Okay. Sure. Sure. No, he's not supering this turn. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, sure. No super. Uh, remember that um, Go on a Piccolo obviously are supporting Saiyan Saga and Bond the Master and Disciple? So they are supporting beasts right here. Hidden potential system additional super. Lovely. What are we thinking? Do we need to hop back in for another run? Hmm. Uh, dude, this fight is so... Oh my god. Like, you come in here with the best units in the game and he doesn't really seem that threatening, right? Like, oh, the gammas do a million, billion, trillion damage. Beast is doing a million, tri like... Like, it's just like, we're like laughing, we're cackling, like, it's very chill. But, like, the second we drop down to, like, well, I mean, to be fair, artificial life form is really bad. But, you know, we drop down to weaker characters, man, and it's just, it is not the same. Um, I don't know, man. He's gonna just super right away. He's gonna super right away, he's gonna stun us. Let's do that. Uh, do we hop into one more run? I guess I guess I could do one more run. Something about this... I mean... I don't know. Like, it's like, Gohan and Piccolo just have no value whatsoever. I just... Like, like why ever run them? They have three 200% leader skills. Gresh was just complaining about this. And it's like, you know, like... Where are we running them? Like, they're on Beast 200% leader skill. Of course, very good. But on Global, it's like, you want to get them on 200% leader skill... In the global fights, fusions and Masu and shit, like, you know, you're pretty much going to have to run them on their own. I mean, I guess you could probably do double in Kid Gohan against Omega. That would certainly work, but... Yeah, this looks like it's going to finish. Um, Maybe we'll just come back against Ultimate Gohan? I could, I could maybe drop the power of the team down a little bit, too. I think I only want to give it one more attempt. Um, I mean, we, we, you know, we, they were in the thick of things at points. Oh, actually, we're going to go into one more turn. Hold on. Damn. And then that's that. All right. Well, yeah, we're out of here. Uh, okay. I'll come back maybe against EGL Ultimate Gohan and maybe we'll, you know, drop the quality characters down a little bit. The only thing is, is like, I, like, one reason I come into one of these fights, and it's like, you know, like, I don't, like, if someone's gonna die in the video, I'd rather be the showcase character. Probably. I mean, I, I don't wanna, in like, limited attempts, like, we're just like, dicking around with these weak-ass characters who are getting obliterated all over, like, uh, like away from the showcase. Like, I'd, I'd rather not have that happen if we can control it. 
I mean, that, that, that like, that, that's happened a little bit in the 21 and Beast video, right? Where the other characters were taking a lot of damage, so... Although, beat, or 21 did get sniped that one time. Anyway, yeah, ultra, we'll be back in Ultimate Gohan. Alright, guys. We brought Gogeta, and we forced it out. Um, okay. So, here, let's go and turn the Skipperoo on. Uh, now remember, Gohan and Piccolo do not have silly damage reduction activated right here. Um, let's maybe keep the Gammas around, uh, because that'll give us a more explosive Kid Gohan turn next turn. Uh, and I guess we will just... What do I want to do right here? Maybe we get a little damage and then we float them, and then we could come back with that with Kid Gohan in slot one. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's do this. Let's, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to float them. I mean, they'll surely die back there, right? We wouldn't heal. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. Um, let me get the AJL orbs. Yep, I don't want to get in orbs and heal. And we just get this right here. If I mean by some miracle they live somehow, uh, I mean they'll still come back in slot one. Our HP will be low. We'll revive against beasts. Right. Uh, now remember, if you revive them, like if they okay, so you go in slot three. And their extra support activates in slot 3. So it's up for Beast right now. It's up for the Gammas right now. If they die in slot 3, though, um, like their passive ends and they switch the Kid Gohan. So the next turn, does like the next two turns, which should have their buff, doesn't have their buff if they die in slot 3. That's the one thing about them. All right, yeah, good damage is perfect. Uh, best case scenario is we do die and we do revive. This is going to be the last run, though. I mean, we already did get a dub pretty easily. I mean, we got through a turn, Gohan and Piccolo, and slot one against Beast. We got through a turn with Gohan and Piccolo floating against Ultimate Gohan, right? Like, I mean, if he doesn't, if he's too scared to kill him, he's too scared to kill him. It is what it is. We did a lot of damage on this turn. Holy shit. Uh, now, I mean, remember, with... with the, you know, their extra support, they are supporting Beast and Gohan. Alright, looks like he, Gohan might be super in the last slot. The attack break might have killed the super, but we might be getting super right here. Super. Just, just super him. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Good to get this in here. And now, Kid Gohan's gonna show up in slot 1 against Beast. Beast only super attacks in slot 1. And we're gonna have 100% chance to dodge it, which is gonna be sick. Pretty good. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead. We'll, we'll come back on Kid Gohan's next team. Um, obviously, with these guys, we're just going to blow uh, Ultimate Gohan away here. All right, guys. So we're here on the rotation. <laughs> yeah, perfect member Beast. I mean, he only super attacks in Saw 1. So if you've got a character, maybe UI Goku after his revive, or, you know, this Kid Gohan, maybe the fifth anniversary Blue Fusions, who potentially could be really good here. Um, who have 100% dodge, you're going to handle this guy's super attack. That's the one thing about Beast. This fight is frustrating, sure, but uh, what's funny about this fight is it it does really feel like more of like a noob stomper fight, right? Like, this is a fight designed to bully weak characters, really. Uh, between Beast locking, between the Key Blast nullification that Ultimate Gohan has, and I, I don't know the exact number, but I think he didn't super this turn. Are you kidding me? I don't know the exact number, but I think you have to do over 3 million to damage Beast Gohan. Um, if, if you're less than 3 million, you're not going to do anything to him. Uh, Alright, well, kind of unfortunate that we, you know, did not get the super attack aimed at us on the turn where we had 100% dodge. But, to be fair, we know what would happen. We had 100% dodge right there. We would dodge. 
Yeah, that is interesting that Beast can only super in slot one. Interesting design for the fight. Um, so remember, Kid Gohan, the first turn after reviving, does have guaranteed dodge, provided a Goku is on the team. And, I mean, you know, we have mastered UI Goku. Uh, Alright, so Gogeta potentially could get caught right there for sure. Um, or I could just use Beast Gohan's active. <laughs> and that will be that. That probably will be the end of this fight. Um, I guess, I mean, we, we had a couple of successful runs... Um, to be fair, I mean, we are using strong lineups, I guess. I was able to use Gogeta early in the fight. In you know, base Super Saiyan Gogeta doesn't have dodge built in. He is guarding, but he gets basically all of his defense when he attacks, right? So I was able to put Gogeta um, in slot one, take a super, and then that's how we were able to get the easy revive. Uh, I don't know if I really, at this point, want to use a character... If I have to force the revive out, though? Uh, eh. I mean, Vegeta's, I guess, you do have to go for. Goku, because Gohan and Piccolo, I mean, they're, again, they're, you know, we talk about it a lot, but the, most most of their value comes from the revive, and then, like, Kid Gohan's 100% dodge. I have never liked them in base at all. Alright, so I guess we'll just wrap this up. I mean, we could just end right here. I We'll see. Now, remember, Kid Gohan does get... 50% chance to dodge the turn after he has the guaranteed dodge. So, I mean, we are going to get one more turn right here since Beast got stunned. Uh, remember, if you do dodge the super attack from Beast, uh, you would dodge his guaranteed stun effect as well. So, that's that's one thing where dodge can be really strong in this fight. Is uh, can keep your slot one character from potentially not doing damage. Yeah, I love I love critting for zero right there. Yeah, guys, get your full crit builds in. Guys, you know it's important. Get them full crit builds in, man. Crit for zero damage. That's so sick. Yeah, love that. Uh, do we just rock kick Gohan and slot one? Just get footage of him. Sometimes people get really mad when I do this, but like, I mean, what are we just gonna hide the character every second of the video? Uh, no. The answer is no. No, we sure aren't. Uh, again, I could use Beast active, but we're just trying to get footage of Kid Gohan. I would like Kid Gohan to just dodge and get a little bit more damage and stuff like that on him. If we get killed, well, I mean, we already did win. Yeah, nice. W. There we go. There we go. Uh, remember, Kid Gohan's stats do drop quite a bit on his second turn. He is still super effective in soul types, so can we get an additional? No. Double dodge right there. Perfect. Okay. And then that will be the end of the fight. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of Gohan and Piccolo. I mean, didn't really have too many difficulties, uh, you know, jumping in here against Beast. Uh, I'll go ahead and do my no-item run attempts with Artificial Life Form, and it'll be just as easy, guys. It'll, right? It'll, it'll be just as easy. Just as easy, for sure. Alright, we'll have RB. What? Did he dodge two in a row? Remember, I don't, I don't have dodge on the Gammas. Um, so, but besides the five free dodge, I guess. All right, well, that's that. Goodbye. Yep, two for two. All right, guys, I'll catch y'all next time. I'll go now load into my, you know, four daily losses in here. Uh, maybe tomorrow again, I'll probably try and get out. Maybe we'll do Piccolo Jr. versus Beast. Maybe Path to Power Kid Goku. Um, maybe I should do some specific Harutagarn and Dragon Fist videos. Even though I have used them quite a bit in some of the missions and some of these fights, um, I think a video centered around Dragon Fist and Hudegarn is a good idea. Both of them are, are centered around dodge, which, you know, there was a bunch of dodge-canceling fights throughout the anniversary, but now that it's settled, I mean, we essentially have a top four fights. You know, Gogeta, Beast, Selmax, and Red Zone, Movie Boss Rush, and all of them uh, dodge is, is a real uh, player in, so... Let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch y'all next time.